NFL's leading kickoff returner in Mel Gray. And from the 16, Chris Oldham fumbled. Looks to have been recovered by Green Bay. And the Packers will take over at about the 33-yard line of the Lions. And the handoff, a double reverse. This is Sterling Sharp. And Sterling Sharp picks up the first down with a 10-yard run of Detroit. Head west in motion. And the handoff on the ground again and dropped for a three-yard loss. Jerry Ball in leading the tackle. Keel to pass. And it's complete to Ed West, the big tight end, for the first down inside the five. Harris in motion. Thompson, the rookie. And Thompson gets down to about the two-yard line. Well, the Packers really haven't emphasized the running game much at all this season because of the offensive philosophy of Lindy Infante, but he says he's pleased with the development of Darrell Thompson out of Minnesota. No score. Four wideouts in for the pack. Keel. Quarterback keeper draw. Touchdown. Green Bay. Pete to pass on first down. Going up top. Complete to Richard Johnson for the first down near the 31 of Green Bay. Barry Sanders, the ball carrier. And Sanders. Driving for five yards. Will bring up a second and five. Pete looking for Clark. Incomplete. Receivers are the keys here in the run and shoot in critical situations on pass. Trips formation left. Pete decides to run it himself. Has the first down. Touchdown, Detroit. A 26-yard scamper by Rodney Pete, and that's the dimension that Wayne Fun says Rodney Pete, a healthy Rodney Pete, gives him. The Packers as they come out first and 10. That scoring drive for the Lions, five plays, 70 yards, a grand total of a minute and 57 seconds. Now watch Tim Harris line up right here, and Sean Patterson, they get taken this way, and this way, and the lane opens wide open for Rodney Pete. Watch Glover on Harris in the middle. Nice block, good job of steering Tim Harris. He slips a little on that frozen turf. Now look at Tiger Green. He's got no footing. Time for new shoes, Tiger. Thompson the lone back. Michael Haddis in motion. This is Thompson, the ball carry, and Thompson, an explosive run up the middle. About a seven yard run, we'll call it nine. Third and four. Keel complete for the first down. So the Packers looking impressive as Blair Keel finds Charles Wilson, the rookie, out of Memphis State of Detroit. On the ground again, and there's a flag on the play. Darrell Thompson running to the right. Hey, number 63. So that pushes the ball back to about the 47 of Green. And slippery footing as you saw Thompson trying to get started there and a loss of one on the play. Back. Keel loses the ball, fumble, and it looks like Detroit has recovered. George Jameson. Fourth-year linebacker out of Cincinnati with the alert play, so the Lions return the favor as they recover the ball in Packer territory. In motion. Beat to pass. Off the fingertips of Richard Johnson, incomplete, had more than enough for the first down. Maybe just a little much zip on it. Ten, three wide outs in for the Packers. Keel to pass. Complete to Haddix. And Haddix up near the 24. Four-yard gain on the play. Will bring up a third and six. Well, one thing that Blair Keel said he was really going to enjoy about starting is that 
He's starting with the score 0-0. Zero, zero. Four wide out then. Trip left for Green Bay. Peel. Complete for the first down. Up to about the 33-yard line. So Blair Keel looking sharp in the cold weather as he finds Charles Wilson. A nine-yard pass play from Keel to Wilson. Kemp in motion. Keel with time. First down across midfield. Blair Keel, 5-of-5 five five this time, finding Ed West. 20-yard pass play from Keel to West. Ball at the 46 of Detroit. Play action. Keel complete for yet another first down. West down to the 26. Chris Spielman on the stop. 20 yards picked up on that play. Haddix. Eight yards on the play by Michael Haddix. Second and two. Ball at the 18 of the Lions. Haddix, the ball carrier. Trying to turn a corner. Nowhere to go. Good hit applied by William White and Benny Blaze. for the first down as Fontenot with the run stopped by Benny Blaze. Drop in the backfield. Thompson, nowhere to go. Chris Spielman. You know, the one guy who seemed to be the most excited about playing this kind of weather, that man there, Chris Spielman. Well, he's really excited. Four wideouts in for the Packers. Keel. And Blair Keel with nowhere to run. Thanks to the alert read by Benny Blake to attempt a 32-yard field goal into the win. And it's no good. Well, Chris Jackie now 21 of 26 will be a winning team. Pete, oh for his last five to pass again, and that one is batted down. Oh, for his last six as Sean Patterson, big number 96, 6'4", 270, got a hand on it. Better job hunting this time. Back deep for the pack, Jeff Weary. And this one is caught by the wind up at the height. Takes a lion roll down to about the 41 of Green Bay. So three. Midfield. Call it an eight-yard run by Michael Haddix. The tailback out of the I formation. He's the ball carrier. And he has the first down. Inside the 45. A six-yard run by Daryl Thompson. 20 remaining in the first half. Ball game tied at seven apiece. Keel to pass. Intended receiver was Sterling Sharp. But Keel had to get rid of it as the corner blitz was on. As Barry Sanders trying to find some footing and has it for the first down and more. Johnny Holland finally runs Barry Sanders out of bounds across midfield at about the 46. And Tiger Green is still down on the field by Sanders. Well, just about the time you say, hey, the field is frozen, you can't make quick cuts. Never say never to Barry Sanders. Look at this guy go. This field is frozen. These guys, you cannot grab Barry Sanders in this kind of weather. You've got to go around the legs. Don't go for the jersey. That jersey is as cold as everything else. Got the wind knocked out of him. Stretching on the side. On first and ten, and Sanders finally roped up and dropped by Burnell Dent. And will we see a flag on the play? No, we don't. Second and five. The option. Pete keeps it. First down. Inside the 30. And Mark Murphy drops him. Packers thought they had a loose ball, but it was down by contact. Keeney in the half. Pete. Good time. Complete to Campbell. Make that. Off 
Aubrey Matthews. And Matthews down near the 20. Watching a tie ball game. And Barry Sanders scored his way and juke for the first down and inside the five. Barry Sanders run out of bounds by Tiger Green. And there's a flag on the play back near the line of scrimmage. Hey, number 67. Okay. Complete to Clark. And Clark, a herd of tacklers led by Leroy Butler. Down to about the 23, he was like three yards shy of what was needed for the first down. So the longest of the season, a 47. High snap, it's up. And it's no good. So Eddie Murray, unable to connect and convert. And we stay knotted at seven. Which side, the tailback, out of the eye. Play action, Keel. Throws it complete. And Barry Kemp with the six-yard pickup. Four yards shy of the first down. In the first half, third and three. And Keel for the first down to Wilson. Just inside the 40 at about the 38-yard line. A nine-yard pass play as we head down to the two-minute warning here in the first half. In defense, they can gain yards in two-minute situations. First and 10, four wideouts for the Packers. And complete for the first down as Keel finds his favorite receiver in the game today, Charles Wilson. Second and 10, four wideouts. Keel out of the shotgun. Hand off to Fontenot. And Fontenot with the first down. And more. Herman Fontenot down to the 32, stopped by William White. 18 yards picked up on that play and there's a timeout on the field green bay burns off one and has one remaining query and motion and keel throws it complete to query and query run out of bounds just inside the 10 seven yards picked up inside handoff to Fontino who goes nowhere dropped in the backfield pick a number it was just, it was just why in February and do it over time. This is a 37-yard field goal attempt. And this is no good. So Chris Jackie not having any success. And the score stays tied at seven apiece. Went on injury reserve after that. And this one is caught in the wind high and short from the 25. Heading for pay dirt. Touchdown, Green Bay. A 14 to 7. Special teams is a lot like the passing game in offense. It's a lot timing. So the timing gets thrown off when something like this happens. How often is it you see this happen? It seems like guys kind of relax. Look at the Detroit players standing up and stopping. Coming to a stop, Thompson's going full speed ahead with a little hesitation initially, and he just does a sprint to the goal line, and no one can even get near him. You, you talk about that timing. It's so important for those coverage guys. They figure, I've got 20 yards to get to the guy. I've got 15 yards to get to the guy. Oh, my God, I've run by him. There's nobody I can get him. And Eddie Murray is not going to catch Thompson. Sorry. Now, he, now look at Thompson, he slides a little bit, he looks back, and he flags. <laughs> that was the first kickoff return for a touchdown since 1984 by the Packers. Lions from the 19, Jeff Campbell, and Campbell trying to return the favor. And knocked out of bounds by the kicker, Chris Jackie. Ball will be marked at about the 43, a 38-yard return by Jeff Campbell. So the Lions will start with excellent field position. And both these kickers are putting these kickoffs high and short. They're landing like the 25-yard line or so. Look at Campbell. He takes this one on the 20. It opens up clean on the left. 
It was not designed that way. Even if they tell you it was, it wasn't. Dennis McKnight, 62, gets a nice block. And Chris Jackie does a fine effort. Look at Jackie. Picture book. Wraps his arms. Drives him out of bounds. Pete looking for Clark. Has it complete. And that's enough for the first down. Sanders. And Sanders inside the 15. I'll make that the 25 to about the 24. For Barry Sanders. Second and three. Ball at the 25. This is Sanders. First down. And Barry Sanders taking it down to the 12. Stopped by Leroy Butler. One yard. First and 10. Ball at the 12. Sanders. Loose ball. Fumble. Green Bay recovered. This is Tim Harris. An audible late. Pete just got this play off. Bennett gets around Sanders' arms, and as he throws him to the turf, seems to strip the ball out. And here goes Crazy Legs Harris running for six. And this crowd loves number 97. He loves to get him fired up. Nine, let's play the block. On second and nine, Keel back to pass. Complete to Ed West for the first down. He's across midfield. And West booming his way to the 42. Ball at the 42 of Detroit. 9.52 remaining in the third. Packers on top by seven. Incomplete intended receiver Sterling Sharp. And boy, has William White been putting some pressure on Blair Keel this afternoon. They're showing... First down, plus four. So Barry Sanders on the short screen from Rodney Pete. Like that? I know. I don't think his ears are that big. <laughs> First and ten from the 34. Pete, complete to far. Campbell in motion. Sanders, the ball carrier. And Sanders driving hard for the first down. So Barry Sanders, despite the 5-8 frame, powerful legs pushing ahead, and there's a late flag. Coordinator for the pack. Second and 10 from the 45. To Sanders. First down. And more. Barry Sanders, second effort, carrying him inside the 35 to the 34 of Green Bay by seven. First and ten from the 34 on Green Bay. And complete to Army Matthews for yet another first down. Driven out of bounds at about the 23 by Ron Pitts in the third. Pete up off to Sanders. First down. And Sanders still on his feet. Down to the five. So Barry Sanders, the elusive one, 18 yards picked up on the play. to get rid of it as Tiger Green with the safety blitz. A 22-yard field goal attempt by Eddie Murray. It's up, and it's good. So the Lions, instead of seven, have to settle for three as they cut into that Packer lead. 14-10, Packers on top. Packers. And a poor kick by Murray, picked up at the 13 by Wilson. With plenty of room across the 45 to about the 47, stopped by Darren Carrington. Here we'll bring you the action. First and 10 for the Packers, ball at their own 47. 425 remaining in the third. And Haddix running for the first down, a flag on the play as Haddix takes it down to about the 42. Of the Lions now, four minutes remaining in the third. Packers on top by four. Daryl Thompson trying to turn the corner and does and run out of bounds at the 30. Lawrence Pete is on the nose, number 96. That bad ankle at that. 
second and three. Keel to West. And West juking and shaking the big fellow for the first down. Wow, but this is it. He's mentioned a lot of articles and a lot of quotes about that World League. He says, I have no intention of doing anything with the World League or the NFL. Keel to Query. And Query slips out of bounds at about the eight. throws it away to escape a little trouble by Chris Jackie. And this one is good. So the Packers expand their lead back to seven over the Lions on that field goal by Chris Jackie leading it 17 to 10 with 12 seconds remaining in the third. Packers on top, 17 to 10 as we start the fourth quarter. James Brown along with Randy Cross and Rodney Pete dumping off to Sanders who goes nowhere as he's greeted by Mark Hall. Pete going for Campbell, complete for the first down across midfield to about the 45 and Campbell gets up running and was not touched so Shades. Well, this play certainly will be reviewed. Pete intercepted. Packers. Leroy Butler. And Butler takes it back to the 12. This Second and 12 from the 11. Keel back to pass. And it's complete and loose. Crockett takes it in for the score for Detroit. Touchdown, Detroit. Conservative, kind of a simple play for the Green Bay Packers. Turns deadly for the Green Bay fans. Watch him as he turns over. He's not touched. He's not down yet. And the ball pops out as he rolls over. That was the key. West was rolling on the ground. The ball popped out. He had not been down. Result is seven points for, the pa for Detroit. It was seven apiece at that point. Flags on the play again is Daryl Thompson. He's the ball carrier. Timeout for the ball game. Sterling Sharp for the first down. His first catch of the afternoon. And it's an 11-yard pass play. And you take a look as he's moving slowly there from the 25th entry. Second and eight. Heel with time. Throws it complete to Query for the first down. And Query gets it to the 25. Check the ground, caught the fumble. Caught the fumble. Back to live action. And there's a fumble here. Haddix couldn't hold on to it. And it's Lions ball. So if you don't get it the first time, try again. A very good job. Rodney Pete. Quick pass, first down, and good juke moves by Robert Clark. Do it with a whole lot of help from a lot of other teams. This Second is and ten. Complete for the first down to Robert Clark. Team all tied at 17 apiece. Sanders, the ball carry. First down. Barry Sanders run out of bounds at about the 13-yard line by Mark Murphy. Second and 10, Sanders. And Barry Sanders down Sanders. near the five, tackled by Mark Murphy. Seven yards picked up by Sanders. Andy Pete is very efficient with his passes, and he's got the best running back in football behind him. Third and three from the six. Detroit, no flags. More time. Let's look at the right side of the line for Detroit. Utley and Salem get nice blocks, and the rest is Barry Sanders in his speed. Terry Greer got a good block as a wide receiver, but Barry Sanders just saw enough room, and with that speed, he's gone. With 3.37 remaining, and Randy, I found it kind of interesting, we were asking 
how a hard, slick field would prove for Barry Sanders running-wise in five games outdoors for Barry Sanders. Average 116 yards and low liner. And Darrell Thompson picks it up from the 33 and dives to the 40. Seven-yard return by Darrell Thompson. 3.30 remaining in the contest. If you can't protect Mikowski, a running quarterback, don't get a big thrower in the quarterback. On third down, nearly intercepted by William White. There's a flag on the play. Wilson was being defended by Ray Crockett. No timeouts remaining for Green Bay. Three wide receivers. And Keel. Complete to Workman. Just shy of the first down marker. Stopped by George Jamison. Workman, second year player out of Ohio State. Teams in the game late. Complete to Wilson for the first down. Inside the 25 to about the 24. Keel out of the shotgun. Incomplete. Leroy Irvin will be whistled for pass interference. Defending Carl Bland, team of the Lions. Four wideouts in for the Packers. Keel. Fade pattern intended receiver was Herman Fontenot. Incomplete. As you take a look at Fontenot coming back. Keel. Incomplete intended receiver Herman Fontenot. Into the end zone. Third and ten. Keel. Intercepted. Ray Crockett. So the Lions come up big as Ray Crockett picks up his fourth interception of the season. And the Lions with 139 to try and hold on for their first outdoor victory this season. This is the PR director, Lee Remmel for Green Bay and Bill Keenest for the Detroit Lions. The final score, today's game, Lions won it 24 to 17.